Hey everybody, it's Delicia and thanks for stopping by for my weekly top five cigar picks. These are the cigars that I plan on smoking this week. Join me and tag me on your Instagram feed, on your Facebook. Let me know if you're smoking any of the cigars that I recommended this week. I'd love to hear your feedback and your thoughts and all your fun comments, so thanks so much. Starting with number five this week, we have the Ricochet. This is from uh, La Barba cigar makers uh this beautiful ricochet i love the band on it by the way the nice orange and adorned with a little bit of gold on there it's very eye-catching um very beautiful stick it's featuring a mexican san andres wrapper indonesian binder nicaraguan dominican and u.s on the filler you get these beautiful uh, cafe mocha notes raisin it's very earthy it has a nice little bit of black pepper mixed in there so really nice stick Moving on to number four this week. This is a brand new one from Matt Booth. This is the Room 101 Doomsayer. So a lot of fun this year. Again, during the trade show, lots of new sticks floating around. This was one of them. Matt Booth is a character, quite the character, always doing a great job of making some different sticks out there. Lots of fun themes around it. Um, this one is no exception. It's available in a Habano and a Maduro. This one is the beautiful Habano wrapper and it's on top of Indonesian binder, Nicaraguan, Honduran, and then USA, Pennsylvania filler. It's spicy, yet it's somewhat refined. Um, very nice flavor to it. Little hints of coffee in the background, so very nice. Number three this week is going out to an oldie but goodie. This is the Lasia Tobacco White. So great company, Sam Lasia, you know, made these cigars a while back. There's the black, the white, um, there's the luchador, there's the, there's a couple different luchadors actually, but um, very nice collection again of cigars, but the white was very nice. This one has actually been aging for quite some time. And this one is featuring an African grown, uh, sun grown wrapper, excuse me and Ecuadorian Habana binder, and then Nicaraguan and Dominican Ligero, and USA Pennsylvania on the filler. So you get the creamy coffee, cashew nut, black pepper spice, really nice on this cigar overall. About a medium, medium to, not quite full body, but right in the mid side of medium. Moving on to number two, we have the Nat, uh, Nat Sico, sorry, I always, I always wanna say Chico, Nat Sico. Anniversario 1965, Liga number four. This was actually my number two pick for my top five cigars of the year. So beautiful box press coming straight out of Nicaragua. This one has an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's nutty. You get the cedar with the hints of the orange peel and the black pepper. Just a really nice cigar. Very balanced, um, excellent flavor on it. Beautiful treat for any day. It's a very nice stick. Uh, and number one this week is going out to a super oldie but goodie. This one is the Fuente Hemingway short story. So this is a great fun, you know, easy morning coffee, you know, type of pairing, uh, even mid afternoon. If you're on a coffee break, this one is about a 45 minute or so cigar, but, um, just a classic, you know, the going old school a little bit with the Hemingway short story here, but a beautiful stick featuring a Cameroon wrapper, Dominican binder, Dominican on the filler. So you get the sweet notes, the peppers and the cedars kind of go all mixing back and forth. It's a nice medium body. Um, and again, a beautiful four by 48 Perfecto. Great selection for any day. This one is a great price point as well. Um, just a great selection. And of course, these cigars actually came in in my Stogie Bird shipment. So just wanted to give a quick shout out to stogiebird.com if you're not a member, if you don't receive you know, any of those cigars from that club. It's a really cool one to be part of. You get a nice selection of cigars delivered right to your door. Um, as I mentioned, this one, this, these five cigars came from that shipment. Um, however, you can also find these, pretty much all of these cigars in any humidor. So I did have somebody comment because I do tend to throw in some of my, uh, my membership type of cigars into the top five. And while some of them are exclusive to those uh, to those memberships or those subscriptions, uh, these are not. These are ones that you can find in any brick and mortar. But again, um, definitely 
save some money if you go through the Cigar Club, uh, in particular, the stogiebird.com for this particular lineup. But as always, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Sunday and I can't wait to see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>